Hi, welcome to Pi Square Y series question and answer session. In this video, I am going to explain another very interesting, a very simple Y question, which is on screen interviews. The question is, in a control systems, yes, one of the most popular term in control systems is a transfer function, right? So these are called, the numerator roots are called as zeros, Z1, Z2, Z3, okay? So minus Z1, minus Z2, minus Z3, they are called as zeros of the transfer function, which everybody knows why they are named as zeros. It is simply because you substitute in place of S, substitute minus Z1, the whole transfer function is becoming zero. Or you substitute S is equal to minus two, the whole transfer function is becoming zero. And at these values of S, the transfer function will become zero. Hence, they are called as zeros. Now, why these are called as poles? When S is equal to minus P1 and minus P2 minus P3, the transfer function is becoming infinity, isn't it? As it is becoming infinity, it should be called as infinities. But why are you calling it as a poles? That's a question. You might be thinking it is a simple question, but you see the beauty behind this question, then you will feel the essence of control systems. Okay, I'm going to explain that in this video. Okay, and I already discussed different such different Y series questions. Why 11 kV in India? Not in India. Why 11 kV used overall? Uh, why not uh, 10 kV? Why 50 Hz is used in India? Why transfer is in kVA? Why AC is measured in ton? AC capacity is you know specified in terms of ton, right? There are different Y series questions. You check the link in the description. You'll get very good, interesting insights so that you know your interview will become much easier. Okay, so you check that. Coming to this, let me show you pole zero plot. Okay, I'll take a simple. You, you, as you are clear of the zeros, I'll focus on why. The poles are called as poles. Why they are termed as poles? Instead of calling it as infinities, why we'll call it as poles? I'll explain that. This is not, you know, a control system engineer will only talk it as poles. A mathematical person also, a mathematician also will call them as poles. Denominator roots, they'll call it as a poles. Let me explain that. To explain that, uh, we developed a simple tool. We've been developing, you know, different applications so that your control systems will be easier, okay? You can check the trial course of control systems for gate courses, check the link in the description so that you'll get a free trial course to experience the beauty of control systems, okay? Yeah, this is a pole zero plot of a typical transfer function. You can verify the transfer function. What I'm taking here is s square plus 5s plus 11 is a transfer function. I mean, one by s square plus 5s plus 11 is a transfer function, which I'm considering for that pole zero plot is this. Okay, as there are no zeros, zeros are not represented, only poles are represented here. If there would have been zero, suppose S plus one would have been there here, then I'd be representing here with a circle as zero. But as I don't have it, I'm not representing it. Okay, this is what common representation. One of the question is why they're termed as poles, that's a question, right? So, if you see, at this location, at this value, for this value of S, the transfer function will become infinity, right? The magnitude of the transfer function, the magnitude of transfer function will become infinity, okay? So this is the real axis, this is S-plane, right? This is the real axis of the S-plane and imaginary axis of the S-plane. We have real axis as well as imaginary axis, both axes are there. Now, there is another axis. Yes, there is an another axis. Z axis, which is representing the magnitude of transfer function. Okay. But on a paper, definitely you cannot draw that Z axis. But now with our application, I can visualize that Z axis. Okay. Let me rotate this plot. Yes. Now see the Z axis. You can see the Z axis, right? The lovely Z axis where it is showing the magnitude of the transfer function. See now. Complete S plane, this is a complete S plane. At every point, this transfer function is having certain magnitude. At every point, this transfer function is having certain magnitude. That magnitude has been plotted. Okay. So at this magnitude is increasing like this. 
So at, the, at a particular value of s, at this point of s, the magnitude is shooting up to infinity. And now see how it is appearing like. It is appearing like definitely two poles, right? There are two poles projected. Hence they are called as poles. That is it. The third dimension which you cannot put on a paper has been kept over here to showcase the magnitude. Let me now change the transfer function. This is a, a, a 11 here. Let me change it to maybe a 14. Let's let's make it 14. I'll make it this transfer function 14 and see how the poles are changing. Boom. Yes. Right. So let me turn it to 2D. Yeah. For 14, these are the roots. You can you can verify with it. Verify with your you know calculated roots. Let me change it to 60. Yeah, roots have changed. Now look at the 3D view. Yes. Is it an amazing tool? This is why this is the reason why they are called as poles because they are looking like poles. That particular point, right? So this is the reason. Now I think you must have got an idea of why the roots of the denominator are called as poles because they are appearing like poles. Simple. Okay. There are a lot many such simple things which we are showcasing you with the visual graphics and different applications. You check that link, check, take the course, free trial course, enjoy the free trial. If you like the course then, okay, you go for the full course. Okay, that's it. That's the end of this lecture. Thank you. See in the next Y series video. Okay, and like this video if you like it and share the video with your friends so that we'll be doing more videos. More you share, more we'll be uploading the videos. And subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified for such kind of interesting topics. Thank you. See in the next interesting video. Happy learning. Enjoy learning. The world has changed a lot, but our education system or our learning system has not changed much. Do you agree with me? Come on, just by using a digital projector or a smart board is not going to bring the change in your learning. Myself Shaker presenting you a brand new and innovative teaching methods which will let you fall in love with engineering and it will also help you to crack any exam, gate, ESE, Transco, Zenco, any state government, central government jobs, any job you can crack it very easily with the help of our 3D animations, live demonstrations and interacting and interesting simulations, specially designed tools which will not only clear your concepts but also let you fall in love with the learning and explore the beauty of engineering. Check the link in the description to get a 365 days free trial course. Yes, absolutely free trial course for 365 days. Check the link in the description. Happy learning and enjoy learning.